Hey there guys, how's it going? Um, back with some more StarCraft 2 campaign action. Uh, this time I'm going to be doing Smash and Grab. Um, this is again going to be on Brutal Difficulty and we're going to go ahead and try and get all three achievements in one run. So this mission isn't too bad. The first thing you want to do is build an SCV and build a Medic. Um, the reason you're building a Medic first instead of like another Marine is because you will get three mara Marauders soon and you want the extra Medic for support. So I'm um, going to go ahead and grab the relic just outside your base. You can safely grab it. No one's going to come and attack you. Um, and you want to keep pumping SCVs when you can. And don't stop production. You want to produce SCVs over Marines when you have the minerals just because you want to get your economy going sooner. So as you can see, I do have a missionary com mercenary compound. Um, this allows me to get war pigs and other mercenaries. Um, the reason I got this is because I did complete the evacuation first, and this allows me to get it um, first. So after you get the three marauders, you're gonna want to prepare for the three stalkers to attack. So after he's done talking, you're gonna want to stim and stim, and then the stalkers will come up your ramp, and then you can go ahead and. Uh, destroy the stalkers, and this shouldn't be a problem. So as I was saying, um, you do want the mercenary compound because war pigs are very helpful, and you're going to want to move out and kind of destroy the pylon. Since one of the achievements is, you have to uh, do the mission in 15 minutes, so you kind of want to do as much as you can in as little time as possible. Oops. The doctor is in. So you're going to want to go ahead and just target the pylons and try not to get in range. Some units will come, so you just want to move back until you're out of range, and then you can go ahead and engage and kind of move as move your mates away from your easy lots, so zealots, so they don't get attacked. And just keep repeating, uh, hit and run. If you see units come, you just want to move back. Again, do the micro, destroy the pylon. Also, uh, put SCVs on gas and start an engineering bay if you haven't already. And then once the dialogue comes up, you're gonna want to go back in. The so gonna go ahead and continue onward to uh, the Protoss base. You can ignore some of the buildings since you know they don't really do anything. They do have warp bins, but they're not really smart enough to kind of engage you. So just kind of get your marauders, put them on the bridge outside of the cannon range, and destroy the pylons on the edge. And get the upgrades when you can because upgrades are very important, uh, especially the armor. Uh, it'll keep you alive for the guardian, the stone guardians uh, achievement. After the pylons go down, you want to just get in, in range enough so that you can attack the um, the sentries. You kind of put them, all, put them on a hold position so you don't get in range of the side storm from the high templar. Bad news. Not enough minerals. After they go down, you can go ahead and uh, group your units together again, and you're just gonna want to make a leap for the bridge and go all the way to the other side and don't stop. The High Templar will only use one side storm, so you don't have to worry about him casting another one. And then after you take that out, go back to your base because there will be another Zerg uh, wave coming, and you want to be there to defend against it. My Marines were out of position, so. Yeah, my micro is bad. I lost too many medics, too many units. So you do want to uh, produce a lot of marauders, so you can go ahead and um, kind of, I guess it's good for destroying buildings, so you want to destroy the pylons fast so you can take out the cannons. And we're going to go ahead and actually, you know, we don't have enough marines, so there are going to be void rays up ahead, and without marines your units are going to be, well, they're going to die. So we're going to go ahead and go to the left and head towards the Zerg base and just uh, kill the spine crawlers so we can work on um, getting one of the relics. And I'm going to go ahead and start producing marines so I can assault the base, the Protoss base, soon. So we're going to go down and you're going to have 
two cannons. Upgrade complete. Go ahead. This better be good. I am building a reactor so I can get more marines on the field first. So no more barracks. Okay, so we are gonna have two cannons on the bottom. Just bring one marauder down to attack the cannon, and make sure your groups is uh, far away enough so that you don't get the aggro. Uh, your units don't get aggro onto uh, them and get hit by the cannons like mine did. And so yeah, you just hit them, and then the stalkers will chase you. You just run back and kind of isolate the stalkers from the cannons so you can take them out without any trouble. Complete. Keep producing medics. Um, if you don't have enough medics, it does kind of hurt you when you get to the end. So you do need a good amount of medics to keep your army alive. And we're just gonna rush into uh, the cannons. And it's, it should be pretty easy to destroy everything. Not too many casualties. Um, after you destroy the two cannons, you can just ignore the pylons and just run back. Um, have one marine pick up the protest relic and then go back. And my forces are out of position, so... But I should be able to defend since I just finished, luckily. So this did slow me down a little bit, but um, I think I should be fine. So we're going to go ahead and move our units and kind of sit at their ramp until we get enough forces. Just grab one Marauder again, attack the pylon, that will get the aggro on the Protoss. And then they'll come at you. Um, there are two. I think one of them is a hallucination, but um, one of them is a hallucination. So there's one void ray you have to be careful of. After you take that, uh, take out those forces. Just take out the pylon, and the cannon will go down. You can just ignore the cannon. And you want to have your for this part. You're gonna get the relic. You want to have your marauders and your medics. Uh, on two different hockeys, not like me where I just kind of rushed them in. But the Marauder should be in front and the Medic should be in the back healing. And you want to focus down the pylon. And once the pylon goes down, you can just grab the relic and walk out. Again, ignoring the cannons because you don't need to kill them. So I'm going to go ahead and send reinforcements because we are going to start to assault the base. Um, I only have less than four minutes to beat the mission. So we gotta get going. Okay, gonna go up the ramp and attack one of the cannons and lure the Archon down. And then just kill it. And now that the Archon's gone, um, there's one more Archon, but he's pretty further in. And there is gonna be an attack on my base, which I'm not prepared for, so I do have to run my main army back. Um, but I do hold off a little bit. And the great thing about mercenaries is they're instant builds, so you can just, if you don't have anybody at your base, you can just instantly call in some mercenaries and um, just help defend. Kind of like a, what you call it, Protoss Warbands. They do cost quite a bit of money, so hopefully if you are getting attacked and you don't have anybody at your base, you have enough resources to call them down. The is in. So afterwards I'm going to go ahead and Standing send the high. army back to the Protoss' yeah. base. Um, the there shouldn't be any, there might be one more attack but it doesn't really matter because well this is a good amount, just good size army to um, just finish the mission. So I'm going to go ahead and shutter step up the ramp and try to avoid the cannons so that I don't get hit by multiple cannons. Again, moving my uh, army so I don't get hit by the cannons, uh, or get hit by multiple cannons from all angles. So there is one more Protoss Relic at this base, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, 
gather my army first. And you want to go ahead and try and go to where the relic is, and the sentries will block you off with the force field. You want to set that off as soon as possible so that um, they don't block you off for too long, because that will delay uh, your mission. So you do. I send a marine to grab the relic. Uh, again, just ignoring the pylons, and um, you don't have to destroy it. So you want to move in. Don't go to the beacon yet. Uh, you want to move around and the so stone will come alive. So after you hit the beacon, the stone will come alive and you just want to surround one of them. And don't forget to stim pack and then take it down. And then focus fire another one. And be sure to micro your marines so they don't die. Or they don't get in the range of other... Um, they're kind of like mini colossus so you want to separate your marines so they don't get hit by the AoE. And if you do have plenty of marauders, they don't hurt the marauders too much. So if you're kind of marauder heavy, I think that's good too. Um, it'll be kind of hard for them to kill your marauders. Just be careful with the medics. We got what we came for. And that's it. If you got all the Protoss relics, um, beat the mission under 15 minutes, then that's all three achievements. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it was helpful. Alright, good luck, have fun.